Welcome to the Health Hub. According to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, they suggest potential health risks associated with the consumption of eggs, including an increased susceptibility to heart attacks and certain types of cancers. We're going to explore this topic a little bit deeper. Several studies were mentioned, primarily observational, based on self-reported food frequency questionnaires. Such studies have limitations due to recall bias, making it challenging to establish a causal relationship. Factors like smoking, genetics, medications, and lifestyle can confound the association observed in these studies. Why do they pick eggs out of the million variables? What about their smoking? What about their drinking? What about their medication side effects? What about their genetics? What about their inactivity? What about the donut that they just ate? Why didn't they pick that? It's literally impossible to isolate this link between two things. Researchers have financial ties to pharmaceutical companies that manufacture cholesterol-lowering medications, potentially introducing bias into their findings. So unfortunately, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is putting out doubts about the health of eating anything animal products. They're a plant-based physician group, but their membership really is only 5% physicians. It's really, really bad for someone to put out information that's just a lie, to scare people into not eating eggs. The news does it all the time they'll put these little doubts in people's minds and it's very difficult for most people, the general public to evaluate that data themselves so they depend on someone else who's responsible, do it for them. But in fact the egg is a very interesting protein. We just want to give you some factual information about what's an egg. First of all, an egg yolk is not a developing chicken. It's the nutrition for that chicken. The egg yolk is probably one of the most nutrient-dense multivitamin mineral phytonutrient substances that you can consume, bathe in some additional protein around that egg yolk. The egg is almost complete with about every single nutrient except vitamin C, but it's loaded with vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9, and B12. It's one of the best sources of vitamin A and I'm talking about the active form of vitamin A, called retinol. You cannot obtain it from carrots, in carrots you have the precursor of beta carotene that is supposed to convert into the active form of vitamin A you'd have to get it from animal sources or egg sources, but vitamin A which is so crucial for your eyes, for your immune system, for your skin, especially inside of your skin, the sinuses, the throat, the lungs, even the colon, anything internal skin is supported by vitamin A. And of course liver has the highest amount of vitamin A, but egg yolk is right up there as well. It has vitamin E that by the way supports the inside of your heart. Eating eggs is going to help your cardiovascular system. It's going to support the inside layer of the arteries because it has vitamin E as well as vitamin K2, which is very important in removing the excess calcium in the arteries. It keeps the calcium out of the soft tissues of the body. It has vitamin D. Very few foods have vitamin D, but egg yolks have it. Of course I'm talking about an egg that comes from a pasture-raised healthy chicken. I'm not talking about this chicken that's in this cage, their whole life. It's a super bioavailable source of amino acids. It also is the food that has the second highest amount of choline behind the liver and choline is important in reducing fat off your liver. It's important in supporting the brain because it makes this neurotransmitter called acetylcholine to help your memory. It also has minerals potassium, magnesium, selenium, it also has omega-3 fatty acids as well which is good for the heart. Another thing that it can do is, it can increase the particle size of your LDL. What does that mean? There's two types of LDL, you have the small dense particle size, which is the one that kind of invades the arteries that creates more problems creates more inflammation but then you have something else that's bigger called a large buoyant particle size, and that's the one that is not pathogenic. Also eggs can help reduce your insulin resistance. Think about the carb level on eggs. There's not a lot of carbs in eggs. So it's a perfect keto combination of protein and fat and nutrition. It also can increase HDL. It has lutein and zeaxanthin, what are those? Those are carotenoid you see those in vegetables, but the bioavailability in vegetables doesn't even compare to the bioavailability from an egg so these two carotenoid protect not just the eye because it's good for the eye against like things like macular degeneration and cataracts, but also protects the endothelial tissue inside your arteries. So, eggs don't cause heart problems, they help heart problems. 
So consuming eggs is an excellent idea. And the next time you hear some bad news about eggs, take a look at the study. Make sure it's not an observational study. Make sure that the source of the study doesn't have conflicts of interest, but it can be a super hard healthy food to consume. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful please like, share and subscribe for more such inspired content.